Hi. In the last video, I showed you this little LR1000 receiver. In this short video, I'm going to wire it up using SBUS without the telemetry, as I don't use it. And then I'm going to be setting it up on Betaflight. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire up my plug. This is one of the UART plugs for my SPF3. This did have four wires, but I took the third out as I'm not going to be using it. So red is voltage, black is ground, and yellow in this instance is going to be SBUS. And I'm going to put ground, which is the black wire at the bottom, 5 volt in the next one, and this yellow SBUS wire in the next hole. I'm going to be leaving the telemetry hole free as I do not use telemetry. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to wire that up quickly. So we're back and I've soldered up this little receiver. Excuse the soldering job, but as you can see, I have ground, which is black, red, which is voltage in, and SBUS, which is yellow. Then I've got the last hole free, and then there's the bind button at the bottom. So at the other end of this plug, as you would have seen before, this is a standard UART plug. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just get my quad in here. All right, so here is my Martian build, and this is the SPF3 you're looking at. So for this video, I'm going to be using UART2, which is this one here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to plug that in now. So now we have the receiver all wired up and plugged in. Let's plug the flight controller into Betaflight and we'll set it up from there. Okay, so inside of Betaflight, you want to make sure your flight controller is plugged in and the, the correct COM port is selected. Then you want to connect. So now we're going to set up our UART port. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to ports. We are going to turn on Serial RX on UART2 as we are going to be using UART2 for the receiver. Make sure to save and reboot. Then we'll go down to configuration. We will select spectrum based receiver as we are using SBUS. And then we will choose SBUS as receiver type. Once again, make sure to hit save. We're going to go to receiver now. Now, inside of receiver, we're going to go down to the third option, which is the JR-based receiver. And when you select that, you will see TAER1234. Make sure to hit save, and then you can simply disconnect your flight controller. Now, we will move on to the bind process. So the first thing we are going to do is put our receiver into bind mode. We can do this by holding the bind button while powering on the quad. Then you can let go of the bind button, and then we will bind it from the radio. So on my radio, I'm using the FreeSky Tyrannus Plus. I'm simply going to hit menu, which will take me to the model selection screen. And then I will scroll down until I get to D16 or D8, and I will change it so that it is D8. Once I've done that, then I can simply press the bind button. As you can see on my receiver, the light will go out, indicating that the two have bound. Now you can press enter again, then you can just simply exit out, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and comment as to what you would like to see next time. That way I can deliver content that you want to see. As always, thanks for watching.